A man is lying in the bathroom. His name is Phil, then 23 years old, Arthur Patterson, then 17, and Edward Lee, then 18, are talking like bragging to their friends about what they've done in the bathroom a little while ago. At the same time, the woman who found the dead man in the bathroom shouted and cried. Soon police were dispatched, and evidence of blood and fingerprints at the murder scene was carefully collected. Police investigating the surroundings arrested Arthur Patterson and Edward Lee as prime suspects. Prosecutors did not charge the two men as co-offenders for murder, but Lee for murder, and Patterson for carrying weapons under the act on punishment, including destruction of evidence and violence. In the early days of the investigation, the investigation was not carried out properly due to problems such as interpretation, and Patterson and Lee, who were caught as prime suspects, argued to each other that the other party murdered the victim and he was only next to them. In addition, the SOFA agreement disrupted investigations and questioning of witnesses for the suspect's friends and other related persons. After fierce court battles, the first and second trials admitted Lee's murder charge. However, on April 24, 1998, the Supreme Court destroyed and repatriated Lee as insufficient evidence to be considered guilty, and the acquittal was finally confirmed. Patterson was sentenced to a long term of one year and six months for the crime of destroying evidence and carrying a weapon, served one year and four months, including pending detention, and was released from prison on August 15, 1998 at the end of the execution of the sentence under the Juvenile Act. Prosecutors banned Patterson from leaving the country in November of the same year, and continued to extend it by three months in preparation for Lee's acquittal at the High Court. But when the ban was lifted by the prosecutor's mistake on August 23, 1999, Patterson left for the United States the next day, August 24, 1999, and it became difficult to secure his personal information and investigate. Later, the bereaved families demanded a reinvestigation and the arrest of Patterson a leading suspect who fled to the United States for more than a decade. And in June 2011, Patterson was returned to Korea after being arrested by U.S. police for other crimes committed in the United States. Finally, the court sentenced Edward Lee to 20 years in prison, saying that he was recognized as an accomplice in the crime of murder, based on the fact that he encouraged Patterson to commit the crime, followed him into the bathroom, did not stop him from stabbing Phil and did not take any relief against him. The story is a sad story of a young man who died innocent after a murder in Korea in April 1997. I pray for the souls of the deceased even though it has been a long time.